Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, today we're going to talk about Walter Babs. Good old Walter. <laughs> and this guy has to be one of the most quotable dudes. Like, <laughs> he really does have a lot of, like, just one-liners, you know. <laughs> I don't think that, that that when he walked into the house, he would think that we would be just, just be quoting his moronic... Uh, statements all the, all these years later, but yeah, guys, we're gonna jump into good old Walter here. But before we do, guys, please remember to like, subscribe, drop a comment. It really helps keep this channel channel going. Make sure you are subscribed, guys. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of July. Um, and yeah, guys, check the the community tab for the lives. Um, I usually try and go live on Tuesdays at six Eastern time and Fridays at six Eastern time 6 p.m and yeah guys join the discord i dropped the link to the discord and the live streams so yeah guys people say that walter babs looks like ned flanders right hold on let's see ned flanders uh look at that <laughs> well i guess now we can call him like the ted lasso Predator, but Ted doesn't have all the gray. So, <laughs> look at that, guys. Have you guys heard of Oak of Oakley Dokley? Guys, drop in the comments if you've ever heard of this group. They're they're a screamo band, right? Called Oakley Dokley, like Oakley Dokley, Oakley. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Look at these guys. Look at that, man. Oakley Doakley. And they do the whole show wearing these sweaters and stuff. I don't know how, man. I don't know if you guys have ever, like, sang on stage. But, dude, it gets hot up there, man. Look at that. Yeah, they're a screamo band. They're not a metal band. They're, they're like a screamo band, right? And look at that, man. Look at this. I'm not gonna play their music because it's uh, because it's copyrighted. But yeah, these guys have been around for a while, man. <laughs> what do you have to be smoking to be like, hey guys, I got a great idea. You know how we're always practicing in like my mom's garage. Hey guys, let's put on a <laughs> a Ned Flanders thing and uh 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 let's dress like Ned Fla Flanders and make like. A metal band. Yeah! Great idea! You know what I mean? So, hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. Anyways, I digress. Guys, actually, he looks like Luke Tom Thomas. MMA. <laughs> yeah, that's how he, that's what he looks like. So, Luke Tom Thomas is an MMA reporter. Look at how young he is. He was, but yeah, but he does he does like podcasts about the UFC and everything, you know. And yeah, he's pretty cool, man. He has a lot of really cool cool stories, and he he knows a lot about MMA. But he can be kind of a smug bastard sometimes, though. But anyways, uh, yeah. So I think that that's who Walter Babs looks like, or Wal Walter Babs is. Older than Luke Tom Thomas, so I would say that Luke Thomas looks like Walter Babs. Look at that! Look at that stash, dude. Look at the stash. Okay. So, uh, good old Walter here. He calls himself Kinky Man in Corona. <laughs> we'll just let that marinate for a second, right? Kinky Man in Corona, and he's. A teacher, guys, and nothing pisses me off more than someone that, that we put the public trust in does this. A, a police officer, a politician, a teacher, right? A military per person, because they are supposed to be held to, to a higher standard, right? This is how it works. And these rat, and no, uh, I'm not going to cuss too much, guys. <laughs> I'll get in trouble by YouTube, so they might say that it's bullying, right? Okay. So he got caught in the Riverside Stink. I think the last like three guys that I've done have been from the Riverside Stink. But okay, and the chat log's not too too long. He's a pretty fast mover here. 
So let's just get through this, guys. Like I said, any of the sex talk, I'm, I'm going to skip over because I don't like reading that stuff, right? So I, I usually turn the commentary off, guys. Let me know in the comments if you actually read these with the... Well, if you read these, period. But if you actually, like look at the chat logs with the commentary on. I can't stand it, personally. Okay. Who's Norinda say? I don't remember him. Anyways, so Kinky Man and Corona. He says, uh, <laughs> I gotta get the Predator voice ready. <clears throat> Beth, you're real cute. How are you doing? Bubble Beth 2005 says, Aw, oh, thanks. I'm fine. Uh, Cool. Uh, what's your age, sex, and location? You there? LOL. Okay, bye. Sorry, Beth. I got booted off. Are you still there? I'm here. Cool. You're really cute. No school dip this week? Ugh. You gotta think. That's coming from a teacher. And he's... How old is he at this time? He's 40. Guys, what's with these guys looking so old? Guys, I'm 42. <laughs> And I don't look anywhere near this uh, this old, but I guess being a being a a, a preto really does take a lot out of you, right? Anyways, I digress. Uh, da, da, da. she says I don't have school until next next week. Cool. I take it parents aren't home. Mom's at work. Yeah. Lol. Don't think she would like you being a, an adult chat. Ah. Uh, it's just a Cali room. Yes, but you have to go into an adult area to get there. It's cool. I don't care. LOL, just tell your mom. I'm just telling you that your mom not like it, might not like, like it. Eh, I don't care. She doesn't know. She's leaving this weekend anyways. Setting up the trap, guys. Oh, okay. That's cool. So so you're independent and, he, and here. Very cool. Just watch out for guys like me. And he makes the wink face. Ugh. LOL, what? You mean guys like you seem nice? Uh, oh, I am a nice guy, but I really think you're cute. And not just in that innocent, oh, oh, she isn't a cute girl way. What? Oh, for reals? Yes. What's your age, sex, and, and, and location? 40, male, in Corona. Like his, uh, he's... He should have said 40 kinky male in Corona. <laughs> he said, I know. You're like 40? Way old. I know. LOL. Nah. 70 is old. You're not old. Cool. Is your profile pick your only pick? Nah, I got one more. May I see it? Thanks. Very nice. I bet you look great in skirts, don't you? I look our I LOL, well, I love a girl in skirts. Cool. Guys, do you remember? Hold on. 2000s denim skirts. Uh, guys, who remembers? Who remembers these? You remember? <laughs> Look at these guys. Look at these. These were everywhere. Everyone was wearing these. Now look, Ferris Hilton. Back, back, back of the day. I remember there's all these like super, super skinny girls wearing these, wearing these denim shorts, and they were all like super du 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 duper floppy. Or they would wear these like low rise ones that were like not like. Look, look at Nicole Richie. What guys? Who remembers her, man? Who remembers her? Look at that. Who is that? I don't even know who that is. Um, yeah, look at that, man. I think Old Navy was like one of the first ones to make these popular. Oh, look at that. The low-rise denim with the, <laughs> with the thong strings. <laughs> Guys, this was college for me, dude. Oh, man, I am dating myself so much. Look at this, guys. Look at that. <laughs> And everything had these sequins and stuff and these weird big buckle thingies. Man, God, look at that. Or that cargo pockets. But look at this. Look at this is vintage now. Ah, guys, I'm old. 
Old, I tell you, old. <laughs> you know that you're getting up there in age when the music you listen to is on the on the on the classic station, and the and the styles that you wore growing up are in the vintage section. Oh no! And look, look, Harajuku, like like the Gwen Stefani uh, mu- uh, album. Oh man, look at that. Let's speak. Speak of that, guys. I'm, I'm going all all in. Look at this. Oh, man. Look at that. I love Angel Music Baby. Yeah. Guys, Gwen Stefani's two albums, I think she has two of, two of them out, are awesome, man. They're awesome albums. They're just, they have a lot of bangers on them, right? And now, here it is, 20-something years late, later. And they're like, oh, that's cultural appropriation. The fact that Gwen Stefani, you know, f- found these girls that were actually in Japan and, like, had them tour and dance, and they were totally fine. Come on, man. Come on. Look at that. Yeah. Anyways. Guys, don't don't tell anyone that I like Gwen Stefani this much. <laughs> That's between me and you guys, okay? <laughs> oh, look at that. Gwen Stefani accused of cultural appropriation. Come on, man. What a joke. What a joke. And they actually interviewed these girls not too long ago. And they were like, we don't know what to talk about. We had a great time, you know. Anyways, I digress. Back from the 2000s, back to the present day, right? Okay. So he says, I love a girl in skirts. Cool. Do you get to shop for yourself yet? Ugh. She says, every once in a while, my mom's doesn't let me go a whole lot of places by myself. Yeah, I can understand that, but you have, but but you have that's cool. I'm curious. You get to pick what you want for clothes. Sometimes, if my mom's likes it, sometimes she says no. LOL figures. I bet she says no to a to a lot of the hot stuff. Yeah, she's a drag. Same goes for panties too, right? Yeah, you want thongs and g-strings. Yeah, guys like like them, love them, especially under short skirts. Yeah, they're cool. Lots of girls at my school wear them. I know. Well, you could always buy a couple of pair and keep them secret. Yeah, maybe when my mom leaves, where is she going? Will will it be just you and your dad? Here we go with that with these probing que- questions, right? Or who? She's going to Oregon to see some friends, and nah. My dad split, so who who will you be with? Just me, thank God. I won't have to listen to any bitching. Wow, for how long? Mom's is, is leaving today, like noon, and coming back on Sunday night. So she left me some pizza. She left, she left me some money for a pizza and stuff. It's going to be cool. Oh, wow, cool. Yeah. LOL, want some company? You want to come over? Yup. Smiley face. Honest. Nah. I'm asking if you want to come come over. Yes, I do want to come come over. <laughs> I would love to get you naked. Are for reals? I've never done that before. LOL. Well, we would do more and more than that. Like what? Why well, would get you naked? We would have sex. <laughs> Wow, you want to do that with me? Yep. Uh, I don't know. I've never done anything like, like like that. I might not be good good at it. I'm sure you would be awesome. Oh, what a gentleman, right? What a what a Casanova, right, guys? I'm sure you would you would you would be awesome. You have to learn, yes. But I know I would totally enjoy it. Think about this statement. I'm sure you would be awesome. You have to learn, yes, but I know I would totally enjoy it. Guys, the self-centeredness, I'm telling you this, self-centered, I'm not going to even use the the narcissist word because I'm I'm not a psychiatrist. These guys are just so self-centered and stupid and and egotistical and arrogant. I I know that I have fun. (laughs) Anyways, um... Uh, da, 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 da. 
Is that you in your profile? Yes. And she gives a smiley face. Like I said, that's how you know this, this guy should know that this, this is a setup. That he would think that's a random person on the, on the internet would think, oh, you're a cutie pie, right? Yeah. Have you had your period yet? Yeah, it started last year. Oh, look, he put a sad face. Why? <laughs> Guys, <laughs> oh, look at this. I I come a lot, and it's potent. <laughs> Oh, uh, Walter, 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 you are an asshole. Okay. Oh, that could like make me preggers, right? Yes. Oh, would prefer not to use condom and pull out, but risky because you are so hot. I'm not sure I would be able to, able to get it up without shooting some in you. Guys, the pull out method does not work. Okay. It doesn't. Document it. Doesn't work. Guys, please. To anyone who... Who's listening to this male or female, any gender, any any uh, sexual preference. Guys, always practice safe sex, please. Okay? <laughs> Sidebar to this. And we, and we all know don't <laughs> go after little kids on the internet. But, guys, please. Please, please, please. I know that uh, over here in, in reasonable adults land some people can be tempted to you know you're out you meet a person that you that you like and you might think about having a one night stand or whatever i I personally don't don't do those but guys if you do please uh use protection and that is the end of my public service announcement (laughs) that's my mcgruff moment right oh man guys who who remembers mcgruff the crime what is his little cat saying? McGruff? McGruff. The crime dog. <laughs> Take a bite out of crime. <laughs> you guys remember this dude, man? McGruff, man. Yeah, look at that. I wonder what the what the safe sex version of McGruff would be, you know? Be sure to wrap your ding dong. <laughs> Uh, look at this, guys! Look, look, look! Look, someone made a, uh, uh, a McGruff thing about never talk to the cops. Look, never talk to the cops. Con- contacted by the police, step one. Stop. Don't talk alone. Even nice cops are always gathering information to land on a charge, including people you care about. You are not required to speak with any law enforcement officer or agent. Number two, cops are allowed to lie. Of course, that's not what Jeff Stacy's druggy friend said, right? <laughs> because I'm going to stop and say this, all right? I am not anti-police. I am pro-good police, anti-bad bad police. But there's one thing that I I know is that, is that the police are not your friends, right? Okay? If they're not trying to help you, or they're not trying to you know, help you help yourself for any of that, all right? Guys, if you ever are questioned by the police, if you're ever in the police station, get a lawyer. Get a lawyer. That's how it works, okay? It is what it is. It says cops are allowed to lie. It's legal for cops to lie about the subject of their, excuse me, about what the subject of the investigation is. Agencies at all levels frequently share information with each other, and there are very few quote-unquote rules as to how the cops can ask for that info. Number three, and this is important, guys, call a lawyer. You have the right to consult an attorney before talking to law enforcement or deciding whether or not to talk to them. You have the right to have an attorney present even if you volunteer to do an interview. Number four, if you need help, your local National Lawyers Guild chapter can provide assistance in finding and finding political attorneys in your area. Reach out ahead of any attempts at repression and make a safety plan with trusted ones. Learn about histories of, of, of grand juries and political movements. The cops are not your friends. Wow. Pretty clever, man. I must say. I must say. 
And like I said, guys, you know, I understand there's a lot of good cops out there, but ultimately, you know, they get credit for closing cases no matter what. So if there's something that they can, you know, oops a daisy pin on you, you know, a lot of cops and detectives won't hesitate to. And this happens to black people, white people, you know, gay, trans, straight, everyone, man. You know, you have to be careful out there, guys. You have to be. So, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. She says, uh, oh, oh, you think I'm I'm that hot? No one's ever said, said that. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you got a job? Yes. What do you do? Teacher. Oh, for real? Not my school, is it? <laughs> you know, that's actually a good question, right? Okay. Nope. Where do you go to school? In Miraloma. What city is that in? Miraloma. Okay. Like right near Corona, I think. Oh, yeah. I think it would it would be cool if I had you for a teacher because you're cool. LOL, if, if you were at my school, I couldn't come over. I'd, I'd never do anything with students like that. Oh, wait. So you wouldn't do anything with the 12-year-olds or whatever that are your students, but you do saw something with, a, with, with a, a random 12-year-old. That makes perfect sense, Walter doing okay what's your address i can't tell you right right now i just met you well well in a little while wait uh i know but if you want me to tell you to come over i need to know it well in a little while because my mom is not even gone yet i can call you if you want maybe do you have a mic on your computer nah moms won't let me have a have a mic or a cam because because she says I'll get in trouble. Yep, you would. LOL. Who? Me? I'll be right right back. Gotta pee. Hold on. I'm back. Okay. What's up? Not much. I'm actually hard thinking about, about you. Oh, for real? Yes. That's cool. Why are you hard thinking about having sex with you? I'm blushing. What do you wear at the moment? My so my boxers and a tank top I sleep in. I look kind of messy. Ain't brush my hair. Yeah, panties on under boxers. Yeah. What are they like? They're pink with puffy Ami Yumi on them. What is that? I don't even want to Google that. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what that is, but that's okay. It's a cartoon. I like them. They're cute. Cool. I would like you out of them. Hee <laughs> hee. No, I mean it. Take them off. But it's cold in here. Put your boxers back on. That's what you want me to do? That's what you want me to wear if you come over? No. What do you want me to wear? A skirt. Your shortest and top. Cool, I got a plaid one. Is that okay? Perfect. Are you by Sacramento? No, I'm by Miraloma. It's in Riverside. Okay. Hey, you drink? Yes. Have you ever had Mike's uh, lemonade? That stuff's good. Yeah. Well, my mom's ain't got none here, and I was wanting to party a little. Think you could bring me some? If you're coming over? Yes, I could. Tell me, would you want me to get condoms? Well, I don't want to get preggers, so you maybe should. Well, your choice, condom or I pull pull out. What a gentleman, right? Right, guys? <laughs> what an asshole. Okay. Um, when was your last period? Three weeks. Three weeks, so you're due to start soon. Might be. Oh, not regular? Dude, really? <laughs> Sometimes it's weird, but should be. It'll stop soon or go for too long. Yeah. Should we go on, should go on pill or depo shot? We'll, sta we'll stabilize or eliminate it all together. I probably will one day, but at three weeks, you're pretty safe. Oh yeah, now, now you're OBGYN there, Wal Walter? Come on, man. Uh, that That's cool. Do you have any hair? On my kid, kitty? 
Yes, not really. Yet, mmm, cool. So you say you have a plaid skirt? Yep. It's so cute. How short? How how short? Like half to the knee? Halfway. That's okay. And what top do you have to go with it? I usually wear a white shirt. Like butt button up. Does it get tucked in or is it short enough that it doesn't? Short enough. And shoes. I usually wear black and white shoes with it. Nice. Knee high. Sometimes pantyhose and sometimes knee, knee socks. No, I don't like pantyhose. Okay, you want me to wear socks? Yes. So that's the list of what you want to, of what you wear. Sorry. So that's the list of what, it, what you wear. That's it. Totally. I guess you want me to wear some of something else? No, that'll work nicely. But that's more, but that's nothing more than exactly what is on the list. Oh, okay. Nothing more. I know. So no panties or bra. Okay. If that's what you like, I love it. <laughs> Will you add me on your list? Cool. Do you have a cell? Nah, mom says I'm too young. Told you she's a drag. Yeah, I can call you. She won't hear. Yeah. Yeah, I can get the phone from downstairs and call. If you won't hear the phone, phone ring. What's your number? Uh, da da Oh, okay. Well, it's risky to have you call here. Why? You there? I'm here. And do you see my pick in the chat window? Yeah. Think you will like that in you? Oh, so he sent a picture of his dong. Of his little Walter. <laughs> a little Walt, right? Okay. Uh, uh, I would love to hear you. I want to hear you too, but I have to call you because I, I can get in so much trouble. Yeah, me too. Your mom's? LOL, no. Well, then why why would you get in trouble? Married and a te teacher. Oh, okay. Do you have a Sally? No. Because could go somewhere with it where people can't hear. Uh, da -da -da. I understand. When When's your mom leaving? I think noon, but let me go ask for sure. Okay. So, so what time do you want to come over? After she leaves. Like right after? Probably. And or tomorrow. Okay. Okay. I, I got it backwards. She's leaving tonight and coming back Sunday afternoon. So you can come tonight after about 9 or 9.30. No. Tomorrow. So what times? Tomorrow. Not sure. I mean day or night. So I know when to wake up and take a bath. Take a bath and get ready. Um... How about like one so I don't have to wake up early? Uh, da -da -da. That would work. I just can't stay up up late tonight. Ready to lose your virginity? <laughs> I think so. I'm a little scared, but you'll be nice, right? Of course. Play and kiss and lick you till you get really excited. All the girls I'm at school have done stuff with guys and I haven't, so I think I would... I would want, want to. Cool. And you're going to bring the mics? LOL, yes. The mics limit, limited. I would love you for forever if you bring it. Guys, speaking of that, have you guys seen the movie Fear with Marky Mark? <laughs> guys, if you haven't seen this movie, man, this movie is awesome. <laughs> This movie's great, dude. <laughs> With Marky Mark in it, dude. I I still call him Marky Mark. I don't care. So this movie's great. If you haven't seen it, so like you see how she says, "I would love you forever for E V A." So in this move movie, he's like obsessed with this girl, and he like <laughs> cuts himself with. Uh, it says Nicole forever E V A. <laughs> Oh man, if you're gonna ritually scar yourself in dedication to some girl that you're with, you might as well spell it right. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Come on. Anyways, this movie's awesome. Some might say that it's corn corny, but guys, guys, really, do yourself a favor and watch watch this movie. It's good. Okay. Um 
Uh, da, da, da. You will. Uh, she says, "Sex talk, sex talk, blah blah blah." Uh, it'll be my first time to see your blank and feel it so good, skin to skin. Oh, that's why you didn't want the condoms. Yes, not even gonna get any. Okay, that's cool. Just don't get me preggers. That wouldn't be good. I know, I'll pull out and, you know, all over you. Oh, that's good. Wanna, wanna taste it too? How does it taste? <laughs> LOL, I taste mine all the time. <laughs> Walter, Walter, Walter. Look, he says, kind of reminds me of uncooked pancake batter. Not great, but not terrible. Guys, come on. Come on, Walter. <laughs> he says, I taste mine all the time. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I'm speechless over here. Okay. Uh, oh, she says, okay, they're not really like anything. Yeah, I guess. I'm not crazy about the taste, but I love licking it out of girls. Ah! What do they call that? Snowballing? No. <laughs> Anyways. Wow. Would you do that to me? Yes. We'll lick it off you tomorrow. And share it with with you, Walter. Man, you're a weirdo. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. She has to clean up her room. The phone number, the area code. Um, let me see. So that was at two oh four, and then they call on the phone, and then they talk about the skirt some more. Up, oh, they get the address. Um, she hates her mom. Let me see. Okay. Let me see. To do. Do you know this girl? Huh. I think she goes to the same school as you. I don't know her. She might go to my school. Yeah, I know. I'm very excited. About tomorrow. After he asks, he asks her, are you alone in your room? Uh, I'm excited about tomorrow. Me too, but I'm going to be up late with, with my friend Bree so we can do 11. Please. I'm not going to be able to get up. Bree, is she sleeping, sleeping, sleeping over? Well, she's sneaking out because her parents, I, I didn't want her to, but she's coming over. Okay. So she's not sleeping over, but we're going to be up late. For time... Is she gonna leave? I'm surprised that he didn't try and ask her for like a, like a threesome or, or whatever. Uh, her her mom's going to see her friends, and yeah, he says he's coming over. And let's see what good old Walter has to say. And thanks to Joey's decap. For uh, for for posting this. <laughs> Students go fear the teacher. <laughs> the first time will bring you pain. We will do it, bear. Come on, bear, go. We'll do it, bear. <laughs> These guys are awesome. You can, if you want some of the bread, go ahead and get it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. I think you have a seat right over there. There can be only one. No, I want to talk to you. Go ahead. <laughs> have a seat. What's your name? John, John, what? I knew it. Go ahead. He, he calls himself John. 
He calls himself John. How do you just come up with John from Walter, right? You know what I mean? You knew what? No, just sit. Sit down. John, what's your last name? Hunter. Hunter. I don't know. And John Hunter. Forty. What is he trying to be like a like an international agent? I'm John Hunter. <laughs> And what are you doing here? Getting my ass kicked. Getting, Getting my, my ass, ass kicked. kicked. Yeah. I knew it. I knew I, sh I knew it was a setup. Uh, no, I need you to sit down, please. I need you to just arrest me and take me to jail and, and execute me. I need me. to talk to you for a minute. Because I, you know what? I, I don't think I've ever agreed with a, a, a Preto more. <laughs> <laughs> then that last stays the statement, man. Come on. I didn't. I didn't bring anything. I didn't want to do anything. Whatever. Well, why did you come here, though? Help me to understand. Because I'm a sick son of a. Yeah, that's true. I've never done it before. I t I talk about it online all the time. Well, well help me to understand. <laughs> well, well, I mean, do you have a con a compulsion? <laughs> the Fredo head duck, and there goes Chris talking about being. Addicted to the internet again. Come on, man. What are you doing? An addiction to the internet? Yeah. Okay. I've never done anything with anybody except my wife. Ever. Ever. Ah, he sounds like, um, what's his name? Ah, uh, um, uh, uh, never, ever, ever, ever. What is his name? Um, the guy. My back, my back, please, please. <laughs> I'll remember his name in a minute, but that that's who he sounds like. My back, my back, please, please, ow, no, no. The guy's an idiot, man. He's a total, total idiot. They they sound exactly like what is that knucklehead's name? Um, this is gonna kill me, man. Um, you guys are gonna probably dropping this in the comments are already, and I can't remember. Remember? Oh, uh, uh, Alan Churney. That's his name. That's his name. Look, he sounds just like uh, Alan Churn Churney right, right here. Here we go. Never done anything with anybody except my wife. Ever. <laughs> now, who were you here to see? I don't even know. And you know what? I'm going to ask you something. Am I under arrest? Yeah, not right now. No. <laughs> the art of answering a question without answering a question. <laughs> now, you were here. No, 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 no. I want you to sit down, please. I need, I need to go. Can I go? I want to talk to you a little bit more first. Please just sit down. Would you like some water? No, I, I, I just, I'm about to puke. <laughs> you were talking to a girl named Beth. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Okay. You know what? I don't know. You, you and know, you know how old? No. What did her profile say, John? Her profile said I'm, I'm in trouble. Ah, ah. Profile, That's always great when Dell come, comes out to give him more evidence. You see him like, damn it. <laughs> how many people are in this house, you know? And she was how old? She said uh, 12 or 13. 12 or 13. Okay. So you know you were... Is he wearing jeans and a... And a denim shirt, guys. He's wearing a Canadian tuxedo. Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. The Canadian tuxedo, man. Look at that. Denim on denim on denim. Look at this. Yikes, man. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, Canada, E. <laughs> yeah, holzers, right? Okay. We're coming here for a 12 or 13 year old. No, I don't. I, the profile said 12 or 13. I, my profile says 39. People, you, you put it on there. What kind of reasoning kind of a is, is that? So wait, hers said 12 or 13, but mine says 39. I'm not 39, so obviously. How is that? It doesn't wash, Walter. It just doesn't wash. Okay. I, I, I'm I totally... I'm totally screwed. I know that. But it, it's... Forget it. What are you doing here on a Saturday morning coming into a house where you believe a 12 or 13-year-old kid is home alone with no parents here? Do you have kids? Yeah, I do. Well, how would you feel if some guy I would in this do, I would, I, into your house trying to hook up with your kids? I feel pissed. What do you do for a living? 
I'm in education. I'm in education. education. Yeah. A teacher. Mm -hmm. Oops. What grade do you teach? High school. High school. Yes. And you talk about this in your channel. Yeah, he got you, buddy. He got you. Huh. He got you, man. That's it. Please, please. I, I, I won't go anywhere. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to go to jail. But I need you just to stay by the next step, please. What are you wearing at the moment? My boxers and tank top. I sleep I don't. Please don't read it. I know what it says. And then he said this, John. Is that appropriate anyway? <laughs> yeah, that's against the law right there. He said it was... To transmit that to somebody who you think is under it. He sent him a picture of 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 Lil Walt. <laughs> is it? To transmit is that it? to somebody who you think is underage? Yes. I didn't it. transmit it though. Did? No, I didn't transmit that to her. You did not. <laughs> As if he doesn't recognize his own garbage. Oh, man, come on, Walt. No, that's on. I think it's online. It's under an adult profile. You didn't transmit this. Not that I. No, honestly, I don't think that I did. Please just keep your hands out of your pockets, please. There's nothing in there. May I ask who you, you see want? my pick in the chat window? Yeah. Yeah, but you think you would like that in you? <laughs> How big is it? Well, you saw. Go get a can of Coke. Dang, will it hurt a little? Yes, at first. Now, what am I? What conclusion am I supposed to draw here, John? I can't see anything. I'm done. I'm fried. I'm fried. Well, there's, please arrest me. There's, 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 just, there's one thing you got to know first. Is that I'm Chris Hansen with Dayline NBC, and we're doing a story on computer coverage. Now, if there's anything else you'd like to say. To explain yourself, we'd like to hear it. If not. They already saw your face, dude. Come on, man. Look at that. The predator head and hands, man. He knows he's doomed. Doomed. Not obviously, you're, you're free to go. <laughs> now, guys, that was the uncut footage. Let's see if we can uh, find his arrest here. Hold on. Walter Batched did not stick out of a crowd. I was watching you for like 10 minutes. And he walks in with... <laughs> Dell's like, all right, here, I'm going to skip a little bit and it'll make me seem younger because young people skip, huh? right? Like 10 minutes. And he walks in with pressed jeans. He's the kind of guy you'd see standing in line at the... Yeah, the Canadian tuxedo. And look, look at this look, look, this look on his... Oh, yuck, yuck, yuck. He's all proud of himself. What did he pull up, pull up in? Let me see. Oh, I can't tell. What is that? A Corolla? Maybe? maybe? He's the kind of guy you'd see standing in line at the dry cleaners of the grocery store. That's scary. You never stick out of a crowd. Clean cut guy. But here we are on a Saturday morning and we know that this guy is a teacher. Okay. We know how old he is. Okay. Is. We know he's married. We know he has kids. Hey, how are you? Doing good. Don't you have a seat right over there, please? I'm under arrest. No, I want to talk. Look at that. Chris Hansen. Dressed in all black, man. <laughs> this is like T-1000 Chris Hansen, man. This is like John Wick Chris Han Hansen, man. Not playing games. Stu's staring down. The <laughs> this is like... He's staring down the face of the Chris, of the version of Chris Han Hansen. That's like the Balrog from friggin' Lord, Lord okay. of the Rings, man. Go ahead, have a seat. I knew it. Go ahead and bust. You knew what? No, just sit, sit tight. And what are you doing here? Getting my ass kicked. Getting your ass kicked? Yeah. I knew it. I knew I, sh I knew it was a setup. 
I, no, I need you to sit down, please. I need you to just arrest me and take me to jail and, and execute. I need to talk to you first. You know what? I didn't, I didn't bring anything. I didn't want to do anything. Whatever. Well, why did you come here, though? Help me to understand. Because I'm a sick son of a bitch. <laughs> I've never done it before. I, t I talk about it online all the time. Well, well help me to understand. What, what, I mean, do you have a, con a compulsion? I hate it when he says that, guys. I really, really do. It drives me nuts. Addiction to the internet? What's in his pocket? Like, are those the MapQuest instructions folded up in his pocket? Or, like, what is that? And it's funny that the that his shirt matches the color of the paper. <laughs> He's making sure he color codes, right? I've never done anything with anybody except my wife. Ever. 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 Babst was very graphic in a conversation he thought he was having with a 12-year-old girl. They talk about oral sex, they talk about intercourse, they talk about all the things they were going to do together and how he would teach her. And he says, I just chat about it. I just talk about it online. It's fantasy. It's just talking. It's just talking. Right, right guys? But it ceased to be fantasy when he walked into our house. Now, who, who are you here to see? I don't even know. And you know what? I'm going to ask you. He could at least take a bite of those chips. I think those are potato chips in that, that uh, styrofoam bowl in front of him, you know? Something. Minor arrest. You're not right now, no. But I need to ask you some more questions first. Yeah. Now, you were here. No, 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 no. I want you to sit down, yeah. please. I need, I need to go. Can I go? I want to talk to you. It puts the hand of God up like you will not stand. <laughs> oh, man. A little bit more first. Please just sit down. Would you like some water? No, I, I, I just, I'm about to puke. You want some Pepto? Some Pepsi? You were talking to a girl named Beth. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Okay. You know what? I don't know. What did her profile say? Her profile said I'm... <laughs> the profile said <laughs> Dell hands him the pic of Lil Walt says oh here by the way show him this <laughs> oh man guys do not send pictures of your garbage to random people man it's not a smart move she was how old she said 12 or 13 12 or 13 so you know you were coming here for a 12 or 13 year old girl I'm totally screwed I know that <laughs> but it, it's but it's what? It's what? For people. Do you have kids? Yeah, I do. Well, how would you feel if some guy I in his be, 40s I, walked I, into your house trying to hook up with your kids? I feel pissed. What do you do for a living? I'm in education. You're in education. A teacher. Mm -hmm. What grade do you teach? High school. High school. Yes. We see men from all walks of life, but when a teacher comes in, it's especially disturbing because obviously this guy has access to children. You gotta wonder what's going on That's at true. school or after school. That's true, guys. That's true. Please, please, just sit down. Uh, I, I won't go. He's walking around in circles. Look, look, he gets up and like spins around in the circle. Look. Please, please, just sit down. <laughs> I, I won't go anywhere. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna go to jail. But I need you just to. Stay by the bench there, please. What are you wearing at the moment? My boxers and tank top. I sleep <laughs> Don't Please don't read it. I know what it says. <laughs> As if he could physically block him from reading the channel. Channel log is awesome. And then you sent this, John. Is that appropriate in any way? You know, that's against the law right there. Is it? To transmit that to somebody who you think is underage? Yes. The guys, anytime anyone asks you, like that you get pulled over or anything, and they go, you know how fast you were going? That's against the law. You're like, is it? <laughs> oh, man. It is. Transmit it, though. Just... No, I didn't transmit that to her. May I ask? Do you see my pick in the chat window? Yeah. Yep. Think you would like that in you? How big is it? Well, you saw, go get a can of Coke. Dang, will it hurt? A little yes at first. Now, what, am I, what conclusion am I supposed to draw here, John? I can't say anything. I'm done. I'm fried. Well, there's, yes, please there, arrest me. there's pretty much from the get-go, 
BAPS seems to realize that 12 different things can result from his showing up and none of them are good. There's one thing you got to know first. But when I tell him that I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC and we're doing a story on computer <laughs> Now, if there's anything else... Where's the boom guy, dude? Where is he? Do you'd like to say... He knows yes, that this is even worse than getting arrested. He knows that this is going to be on television. He's starting to figure out. And like I said, guys, I say this every time. He thinks that he's going to, you know, pull, he's going to run to his car, that Corolla, whatever, start that bad boy up and get out of there. But I'm sorry, Walt. Just like my boy Ramsey Bolton says. If you think this has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. That this is going to impact his career as a teacher. And he's starting to figure out that this is not going to go over well at all at home. Guys, 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 good old Walter. Walter Babs, guys. Right there. So, guys, let me see. Walter got arrested. And he was charged with two felony counts. Uh, the attempted lewd lascivious acts with a child under the age of 14 and attempted oral copulation with a child. He, he had $25,000 bail, which he paid, and he was in the classroom two days after bailing out of jail. And he was actually teaching for a little while, long or longer. And, there, and some of the people said that he would sit at his desk with his head down. And the police fi finally told the school about his arrest. Um, they actually interviewed some of his students. And they said uh, that there wasn't anything substantial. And he, he, had, uh, he had child corn on his computer. I didn't know that. He, had guilt, guilt, he pled guilty to one felon account. Of attempted loot act, uh, and one count of child corn. He had one year in jail, five years of, ex of, uh, of extended probation, and a lifetime on the RSO. And he had to do count counseling. But then he became an aerospace in engineer. So I guess he actually ended up doing pretty decent, which is weird. And I guess he would build uh, Germans of a bad time period World War II planes, models, so airplanes, tanks, and vehicles, and would win awards. And he would only win, uh, um, he would he would only do the Germans of, of that bad time that did bad stuff. That's weird. And his wife didn't leave him. What? That's terrible. And he has the latest... Mugshot, so without his Flanders stash. Hold on. I think I can find that. Let's go. Let's look. Look. Uh, that's him. Ha! <laughs> look at that. Look at that, guys. So, all right, you guys. This is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe. Make sure you are subscribed, guys. Uh, join the lives on Tuesdays and Fridays. Join the, dis the Discord, guys. And I will catch you in the next one, guys. Take it easy.